What do you think is the narcissist's biggest weakness? And I am your life coach here to help you understand and heal from toxic relationships. All right, so a narcissist's biggest weakness pretty much is fear of being exposed. Having the mask fall off and having you see the truth of what's actually going on. So to a narcissistic person, that appears like weakness. To be vulnerable to a narcissistic person is to be weak, is to be basically showing your cards. It's to, it lets other people into the psychology and the vulnerability of another person when we show our vulnerabilities, right? Like that is what with empathic people creates connection. When you have a friend or a loved one share a vulnerability, as an empathic person, you probably feel compassion, awareness, understanding, and all these mix of emotions that goes with that toward that person. Not that you're seeing the person as weak, but you're seeing the person as, we'll get to the next thing, human. The narcissist does not want to be seen for who they are as a human being. And they don't want to be seen as this vulnerable human being because they need to be superior and have control of every situation in their life when it comes to interpersonal relationships. They don't want to be seen as imperfect. They want to be seen as like the leader and the one that sets the tone and that their narrative is believed and that their narrative is the narrative that everyone else is supposed to script themselves under and follow. Not want to appear as if they are not impervious. They want to be seen as flawless, untouchable, infallible, just completely perfect. Or they want to be seen as the victim who's actually perfect, but nobody seems to notice. They don't want their mistakes exposed because then that would mean what? Having to take accountability, having to be thoughtful of other people, having to apologize. They don't want to let on that they are no more special than everybody else. They don't want to admit that being seen for who they are can actually potentially create being alone. They don't want to be alone. They want other people to feed them their ego need for fuel and supply. They don't want to face their inner shame. I mean, we all have stuff, right? We all have inner shame that comes up once in a while. We all have things that we need to work on in ourselves. A narcissist doesn't want to work on these things in themselves. They want to pretend they don't exist, push the blame off onto other people, hurt and abuse other people in the meantime through their gaslighting, manipulation, and projecting, and then pretend that they aren't full of inner shame and they're actually, you know, boastful and better than everybody else. And they do not want to appear as if they feel unworthy or as if they are unworthy as a human being. And so they will devalue you to force you to feel as if you are unworthy so that they can elevate themselves from their low self-worth just a notch above you. And if they can keep it that way so that their self-worth, being that they feel unworthy, is just high enough above the unworthiness they make you feel about yourself, then they're doing pretty good. All of this, all of this fear of exposure, of being seen as a human being and being seen as having flaws and faults and things that need to change, things that there needs to be accountability for, things that aren't perfect about this narcissistic person that does not suit the delusional, grandiose perception of themselves that they have, forces the narcissist behind the mask. The mask that they put on to project to the world who they want you to believe that they are. You guys have experienced witnessing this in a narcissistic person, hit the thumbs up. And if you need anything, coaching, group coaching, or peer support, check out the information in the main description of every video. Keep watching these videos for more information and more healing from toxic relationships.